Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Geddon. Today I'm taking you on a trip on how to grade comics with Comic Book 101. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, now, dealers have their own unique way of grading comic books. I'm going to show you how I look at the comics and grade them, and which determines on whether or not uh, I'm going to buy the book or not. So, a comic book, um, depending on the age, for instance, this uh, Laurel and Hardy, it's pretty beat up. Uh, it's not as beat up as, say, this Archie comic that's missing a cover. Or as beat up as, say, this annual Jughead, which is... Uh, even these dollar ones are even, you know, in better condition. Um, Green Lantern here is in pretty good shape. This Green Lantern, uh, we're going to go over and grade it, and I'll give you my grade on it. So the grade scale pretty much goes from like uh, 0.5 to 10. Professional grader, one you would send your comic books off through the mail. They would go over with a fine, uh, fine pick and brush and gloves and all that stuff, and that's why you're spending tons of money. Go to a comic book dealer. A good one will look it over for you and tell you, you know, without having to wait like two months. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, I prefer to use a single piece of tape on my tags and boards. Uh, someone else taped this up. So we take it out. Okay. Notice how I'm kind of holding on to it here. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not grabbing it like this or like this. I'm not rolling it up. Uh, I'm kind of like holding it like I'm afraid to drop it. So this is how a comic should look for the most part right off of the right off the comic book uh, rack. So what we're going to do here, first thing I look at is I look to see if there's any creases in the book. Uh, there are none that I can currently see. Next thing I look over is I look at the corners. Now typically the point here, the corner the better. I mean, you don't want to do that. You just kind of want to eyeball it here a little bit. If it's really pointy, both sides, front and back. Like, I didn't want to touch the corners on this because I didn't want to bend them, mess them up. So, not bad shape. Um, something else I'll look at is the spine. Now, the spine, uh, if it hasn't really been read a whole lot, you shouldn't see a whole lot, if any, white marks as if it's been opened. That'll degraded a bit, but not a lot. Um, most actual collectors prefer to be as less red as possible. Uh, and again, my philosophy, my motto is comic books are always meant to be read. So, and we may even go over that another date. Next thing I'll do, and you'll notice how I'm gonna open, open this book here. I'm gonna open it like like this. I'm not going to open it up all the way. Maybe not like bend the page all over it. Maybe just kind of hold the page back a bit. And before anyone says it, this is a dollar book. This is one that's got, it's been messed up. And so it goes in a dollar bin. So, and what I want to do is with older books specifically, we'll use Jughead here. Uh, you want to make sure when you open it, and again, this is especially with the older books, you want to see if the cover is still attached to the book itself, which, as you can tell on this one, it's not. So they can see this book is not attached to the cover at all. In fact, it looks like maybe someone tried to staple the book back together. So these tend to go on my free rack, by the way, these type of books. Um, so that's one thing you want to look for. 
Uh, we're just gonna take that out. <laughs> you also want to see again if there's mis if, like somebody else put staples in the book. Uh, you want to see uh, how white the inside of the pages are. Now I understand time has a tendency to um, yellow the pages, especially on the older books. Again, the whiter the pages, the better. And you also want to make sure that um, if there's a coupon in the book, um, let's go back and find one here. All right, perfect. You also want to make sure that there's a, a cutout in the book, like a coupon or something, that nobody's actually taken the time to cut this out. Um, I had a book, uh, many of you may have known this book, Hulk 181. It was, it was a first appearance of Wolverine. Uh, I actually had one in my hands. I was looking over it to see if it was worth the, the price for me to buy it. And I can tell you now, it wasn't. We won't go into that story. But in the middle of the page, somebody had cut out a coupon. Yeah, so degrades the book quite a bit. We also have tear in this one, for instance. So just things you want to look at. Um, you, again, you want to see if anybody's done one of these to the books. Uh, you got the folds here. Uh, when you're young, you might be tend to take the corner and mark your page. You know, things like that. Torn covers, uh, tape, for instance, maybe. Someone might have taped this. So, uh, on this book here, what I would probably end up grading is definitely is very, very poor. Just, you know, 0.5, the lowest you can possibly go on the grade. Um, not maybe even worth five cents. So that would get, again, go on my free rack. Uh, a book like this Green Lantern, however, which does have a few flaws. I mean, it's, you know, not without. It's got the spine, so it has been read. It's got a few indents from, you know, people holding it wrong. Um, but the pages are still really white. The cover's still intact. You could still make everything out. So on this, this would probably, uh, you can range this anywhere from seven or an eight. Now what I, how I grade these is, uh, there is a website I use called comicspriceguide.com. Uh, it has a two level scale. One scale is just the raw grade, which is what I just did. There's another grading scale on there uh, for, for say you send it out to a company like CGC and they grade it. Um, you find that grade and you can find the price on the second uh, second uh, chart there. Um, I also grade books. Uh, many may not say professionally, but I have been known to actually grade books. Seal them up. Not in a tight plastic case or anything, but I seal them up, grade them. So, so there you go. I mean, that's really what you have to look for. Make sure the edges here, for instance, are nice and flat. Um, make sure sometimes a, uh, the pages to a book will end up like uh, this because somebody folded it up. Make sure that's good and, you know, that doesn't happen. Um, Again, these little dents here, these little, these bring down the book a lot. Uh, if the book has been read a lot, you can see this has really been opened. It's got some smudges on the side here. Uh, and this may be a factory thing, but even if it's a factory thing, it still counts against it. So sometimes the, the printing press messes up the book too. Not just, you know, the individual. Um, and that's really what you want to look for when grading books. Uh, again, if you're not sure, uh, you just need a little bit further assistance, always go to your local comic book dealer and say, hey, can you, uh, here's a couple books, I'm trying to figure out what they're worth, can you kind of maybe, you know, give me a hint, give me an idea. So, and there you go. Uh, that is Comic Book 101, what to look for when you're grading your books. So, stay tuned for more Comic Book. So, Game. next time on Comic Book 101, why you shouldn't use eBay for pricing or possibly buying your comic books. Tune in next week.